I feel that now I can truly say that I have lived up to what my parents sacrificed for me. With Cristo Rey, I have so many other doors open for me. All I need to do is work hard and walk through one. Immaculate Conception Academy, a Catholic college preparatory school, educates young women for a life of faith, integrity, and service. As a Cristo Rey school in the Dominican tradition, it is committed to providing both excellent education and meaningful corporate work study experiences to students of limited financial resources. With the innovative Cristo Rey model program adopted in 2009, the young women develop strong self-confidence through their workplace experience. They are being mentored by educated, committed sponsoring partners who believe in their abilities, creativity, and work ethic. The lives and education of many women and their families are touched by the instructional expertise and commitment of the educators and staff who believe in their students. Yeah, ICA and the Cristo Rey model are, for both students and faculty, are not something that, um, it's not just a job, it becomes a passion. And uh, the students who are here have to want to be here, and I think the same is true for the faculty and staff. That if they're here, they want to be here because they believe in the mission. Uh, we push everyone here to work really hard, long hours. I think probably what it has enhanced is every student being bound for college. And so in the last two years, 100% of our students have been accepted to college. And that, that, that will continue again this year. We're very close to that at this point. That emphasis on being college bound, I think is probably stronger than it was prior to Cristo Rey, for sure. So ICA has always served the young, the poor, and the vulnerable. And, but in 2009, we transitioned to the Cristo Rey Network. So our mission hasn't really changed that much from when Mother Pia founded the school. We're still serving the underserved. She's the foundress of Immaculate Conception Academy in 1883. Because the, the work program is good, and also the schooling, the education here is, it can be challenging, but it also teaches you a lot and the teachers really try to get the concept of the material so that you can understand it. They're giving us the tools to succeed, to not just stop because a door is being shut, you know? They're giving us the opportunity to open a new door and open doors for others. And we're pretty honest with families as they come in that this is not your typical high school experience. You know, this is a full college prep curriculum with the work study program added on. So it is a big load for students coming in barely 14 years of age, but uh, they are having an opportunity that other high school students will never have the opportunity for. Most high school students, you know, if they get a job, they're working as waitresses or at the movie theater or scooping ice cream. And our students are on the 26th floor of the 555 California at law firms, at banks, at hospitals. And so while I think it's hard for eighth graders to see the opportunity, I think once they get here and they start their jobs, they really do see the benefits of the corporate work study program. I think the mission is to help young women develop into strong, independent women who become successful in the business world. A college degree is an essential ticket to opportunity and a way out of poverty for today's youth. The Cristo Rey Network of High Schools, the 1996 brainchild of Father John Foley, Jesuit, is a leading voice in the national movement of education reform to achieve this goal. It increases economic activity neighborhood stability and growth, employment, and community development. I think Cristo Rey is the greatest invention since sliced bread, if you want to say that. It's a great way for the girls basically, basically to experience 
what most people experience, not just after they've graduated from high school, but what they've experienced when they get out of college. Cruz de Rey is a network of schools across the United States um, that serves low-income families, and the w model of education is students earn their education through a corporate work-study program. So it's a full college prep curriculum, and then we add on a corporate work-study program. So the students are working five days per month to earn the majority of the cost of their own education. This is what Jesus would do, we give them this great opportunity. And I like to see at ICA we're a little backward. Uh, our tuition was 400, now it's going down to 290 a month. So most tuitions go up, we go the opposite way. Our tuition goes down. So we want to do everything possible to give these kids a great education. This doesn't work in every city, it doesn't work in rural environments because you need a corporate sponsor base. Right. But this certainly works well in, in every NFL city, and larger cities can support multiple schools. I, I think it's a great program. Uh, it, as I mentioned, it really gives the students an opportunity to experience what it's like to work in the real world and perhaps give them uh, an idea of what direction they want to move toward as they progress. The Cristo Rey Network has been giving hope and a future to students in urban communities who thought college for themselves was a fairy tale. It has changed the path of the lives of countless students and sparked a revival in inner city Catholic education in the United States. The network has established 10 standards and all Cristo Rey schools need to adhere to these standards or work towards adherence to the standards. And the standards range from uh, issues that include family demographic, and that has to do with income. We serve a, a lower income demographic. It has to do with academics. Uh, these schools, despite the fact that they incorporate a work-study program, are not vocational schools, are not work training schools. They're all college prep schools. And the objective of every Cristo Rey school is to send as many of its students as possible, ideally 100% as a, as a target, uh, to college, that our students should be qualified for the highest applicable state standard. So in the case of ICA and two other schools in California, one in Sacramento and one in Los Angeles, these schools are compliant with the UC A through G standards. So a graduate of ICA would be qualified to apply to the UC system. Uh, there are standards that have to do with the work-study program, meaning that all students will be 14 because the school maintains a work permit for each of the students, so they're work eligible. They're also, they need to be able to be trained and perform at a high level in the workplace. So there are 10 standards to which all schools uh, comply. They're all independently owned and operated. Uh, we do have the students come during the summer for an orientation program. We call that Camp Ray. So all the incoming ninth graders come and they learn how to do, deal with the switchboard and the phones, how to photocopy, because they've never done that before, how to fax, how to shake hands, you know, lots of little soft skills, right? Not just how to work with the actual machines, but how to talk to adults. So a lot about eye contact and carrying around a pad of paper so you can take notes with whatever instructions they give you. You know, Jones Day, has teams of Cristo Rey students in four of our offices. Yes, we have Cristo Rey team in New York, Cleveland, and DC, in addition to San Francisco. So we think that the program works across the nation. I mean, we started with um, ICA in their first year as a Cristo Rey school, and uh, we've seen the program grow. I, I think for any employer, law firm, public, private industry, it is a win-win. Well, it's been uh, nice that I came when the school made the transition to the Cristo Rey model. Mm -hmm. So truly, that is uh, what I've known here at ICA, is that partnership between the work-study side and the academic side. And I really see it as all part of the educational program, even though thankfully I don't need to re be responsible for the logistics of transportation and who goes to what job. Um, so my connection with the work-study side of the program is to uh, guide all staff in seeing it as another aspect of, um, of our educational program here. Yeah. The corporate work-study program is an integral part of all Cristo Rey high schools. 
The Cristo Ray Network partners with companies and nonprofit organizations. Students work at law firms, banks, hospitals, universities, and other professional corporate partners. Thousands of students each year discover hope for a promising future for themselves, their families, and their communities. The, the whole experience of the work-study program for our students means they need to learn how to balance responsibilities even more than in the past. Our girls often are not only the college prep, college-bound emphasis, but the work-study program plus whatever it is that their families need them to fulfill. It gives me an insight on what career I want to have when I grow up. I like it because we get to have work experience out in the real world. We don't have to imagine what it would be like when we get a job. We can already experience it and know what it's like to be with those people that are already working. The students' behavior has, um, I've seen a, a big change from before the Cristo Ray model to after the Cristo Ray model. They, we ask a lot of our students. We ask them to put in long days both at school and at the workplace. And uh, we're doing this from a very young age. And I think that, that you see a tremendous amount of growth in the students, in their responsibility and their vision for the future. Every student works five full days a month. Through participation in the work-study component, students finance a major portion of the cost of their education, gain real-world job experience, grow in self-confidence, and develop a realization of the relevance of their education. Well, I think experience is everything. People can tell you anything they want, but until you actually experience it, it's a whole other ball game. Some of the things that the Christopher Wright Network has been giving me, it's, um, I guess the work experience and what type of environment I'm going to be facing, you know, in the future. And also, like, some of my coworkers have offered me to work um, with them during the summer so I will make my own money. So it's feel, I get a sense of what independence feels like and it feels good to be independent and uh, be getting help from your parents when you know your parents are struggling with money. It was quite clear that the girls were um, uh, kind of had a new a new standing up a little straighter, you know, they had uh, learned how to shake hands and look people in the eye and they knew we were trusting them to go out and represent the school. And even though it must have been really frightening to them, uh, they came back and said, yeah, we had a good day at work. And so I think we all recognized very quickly a kind of um, confidence and pride in them. Pardon my Lenten smile. What do you mean smile? Our understanding is that Lent is a somber time of negation and sacrifice. We hear the echoing words of John the Baptist calling out in the desert, repent. We see the 40 days and 40 nights of Jesus in the wilderness and being tested by the devil at the end. In the midst of these gloomy prospects of the 40 days of Lent, Pardon My Lenten Smile, written by Father Mike Manning, offers you some hope. Yes, this offers you a Lenten smile. Don't be gloomy, because the Lord says, when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to be fasting except to your heavenly Father who is hidden and your Heavenly Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. Do you want this Lent to be different? Pardon My Lenten Smile offers you the way to do this. Each day there is a quote from the day's scripture readings and a short reflection applying it to your everyday life. Filled with practical advice on how to live each day and make this Lent meaningful, it ends with a short and sincere prayer that you can call your own. By Easter, you will have a closer relationship with God. Father Mike Manning's book, Pardon My Lenten Smile, is going to put a smile on every face this Lent as we experience the Lord alive coming out of the tomb. We have got to smile, and that smile is to hang around on every face, every heart, and every soul for a long time.
Get this book and bring a smile to your face and to the faces of everyone you love this Lent for your gift of $15 or more. Call the number on the screen. Get it today. ICA fosters respect for life and the interdependence of all peoples. The school promotes responsibility and care for the earth and its resources. Commitment to the principles of social justice with awareness of the rights and responsibilities of citizenship is the guiding principle. It teaches the practice of the gospel message of love, fidelity, and forgiveness. Yes, I, I find uh, you know student attendance is high. There is a motivation for students to get here on time. Uh, we start very early in the morning. They have to be here at 7.30. And um, when they do miss a work day, for example, they have to make it up at some point. I would say that even though history has portrayed women as being inferior to men, that isn't true because once we are in the work world, it seems like there are so many other more men than women, but we can still do as good a job as men. I think it, it helps drive these students um, um, to motivate themselves, and I think it provides uh, a clear direction on uh, where they want to go and really who they are. I think that happens too through this process. I'm going to graduate and I'm going to go to college. That's a joke because I'm the first one, the first generation of my family to go to college and actually have, that have worked at a law firm in places like that. So it's like I'm happy I came here. I have a head start. We don't have a lot of contact with parents, but what I can tell you is the parents when they come for orientation and different meetings, you know, there are meetings during the year, they are so very grateful and our incoming parents, one dad said to me, because of his experience with our seniors and how welcoming and warm, polite, gracious, they know how to look at people in the eye, they know how to have a conversation with adults. He said to me, see that senior over there? I want my daughter to grow up to be like her. ICA partners with Bay Area businesses to provide a quality, affordable education to motivated and capable young women. Students are placed in entry-level positions in a variety of industries, including healthcare, financial and legal services, and media. These sponsors range from small professional service to large multinational corporations. They provide the work opportunity and exposure to a professional work environment, which is inaccessible to most teenagers. The Corporate Work Study Program teaches the young women to take initiative when they see an opportunity. Sponsors contract directly with ICA, which serves as the actual employer of each student. Sponsors thereby avoid the administrative and financial overhead of direct employment. Transportation to and from the worksite is provided by the school. It's our Facebook wall and this is where we display all of our corporate sponsors and all of our students. So the wall is listed alphabetically around the three walls through our corporate work study office and it displays each sponsor and the students that they hire for the year. So it's color coded by grade level so it's a pretty easy visual. Today is Wednesday so everybody in green, the senior class, is at work today. Typically a company hires four students to make up one team so you'll see on the wall that most of our sponsors have one student from each grade level filling that position and those four students job share one entry level clerical position. We run a hybrid model so the majority of the students are chaperoned by ICA adults on BART so the day begins at ICA. We check all the students in so whatever grade level is working that day we check them in for work, shake their hands, give them their time card, check their dress code and then a chaperone either comes to take them on BART and deliver them to the block of their work site or a van comes and picks them up and delivers them to their job. So mostly on BART, but some vans as well. And students are delivered to the door of their job site and picked up at the end of the day by the same chaperone and delivered back to ICA. Both ICA and each corporate sponsor effectively supervise student workers. This co-supervision facilitates compliance with program policies and procedures, including dress code, professionalism, attendance and punctuality, as well as performance expectations and reviews. We do also what you call scheduled surprise visits. 
So we don't tell the girls we're coming, but we do tell the supervisors. So we know when they leave here in the morning, they shake our hands, we check their dress code, no extra jewelry, no extra tattoos, no extra piercings, and then they go. But we don't know if they're going to change when they get there, change dress code. And if a supervisor is a little lenient on them, you know, plus we want to make sure they're coming back on time and doing what they're supposed to do. But that's all part of the time card. They go with a time card to work. So we have a daily time card that the students bring to work each day and they're evaluated on their work each day. So they are rated on their expectations. Were they below expectations? Did they meet expectations? Or were they exceeding expectations of the employer? And we ask the employer to actually grade the students based on as if they were a regular employee. We don't want them to treat them like a student intern. We want them to treat them, as a, our students, as a regular employee. And so day to day, the students are getting feedback, hopefully positive feedback, but not always. Sometimes it's constructive feedback to, on their work and how they're doing. And then we have three performance evaluations throughout the year where students that are a little more in depth and students are evaluated on their timeliness, their motivation, their professionalism, their initiative, their judgment, and also their hard skills in the workplace, so how well they're doing at the tasks that are assigned to them. There is an awful lot of logistics that go on in the background. I mean, I would say to people, think if you have two kids or three kids and they're going to school every day, the amount of work that that entails. Now you have 60 plus students every day leaving the school, going on vans, going on being chaperoned, barred, you know, you name it, anywhere. They're in the East Bay, South Bay, San Francisco. So it's a huge undertaking. We work one-on-one -on -one with each of the students. At the end of each day, um, we review the tasks that they were given that day and ask uh, how it went for them, if they had any questions, uh, if they were confused about anything, and this happens throughout the day but uh, we have a 15 minute block at the end of every day where we uh, take time to speak with them. The quest for new sponsors never ends, but the support of ICA from the Bay Area business community is overwhelming. The more than 70 sponsors have one thing in common. They are eager to help the girls succeed in life. My, my, my job is job acquisitions and then I also work very closely when uh, the girls are working there. So I like to say my first job is to get the job and the second and most important job is to make sure we keep the job. I, I think an obvious answer that people jump to and I think most people at a Cristo Rey school would agree is sponsor acquisition. Because as these schools grow, which, which all need to, we need to get to a, a certain size to be viable. Because there's terrific leverage, economic leverage in a school model. Uh, there's one building, there's one of a lot of things. And if you can amortize that over a greater number of students, you can bring your cost per student down to a point where the enterprise is viable. So sponsor acquisitions. We're currently at 240 students. We have a goal to grow to 400. 400 students require 100 sponsors because four students job share one position. Sometimes, you know, it's a hard sell at the beginning. You call up and say, you know, will you hire this 14-year-old to answer your phones or do your filing? And, you know, it takes people a little bit of time to understand the program, but once our students are actually in the workplace, they're really exceeding expectations. And, you know, we had a, one of our sponsors actually called and said, who does your training program? I want to bring your them in to train my own employees. The Cristo Rey Network, like the person for whom the model is named, Jesus Christ the King, is bringing a beacon of new hope, safety, and stability into the community. It grows current and future leaders at the schools and promotes ongoing spiritual formation and the sharing of best practices in finance, strategic planning, and governance. I would say that Students all over the world can benefit from this type of a program um, and that they need our partnership, our assistance, our encouragement. They need our belief in them that they can grow to full potential and be contributing citizens to society. My parents understand that it might be a little hard to do both school and work, but they are also telling me how fortunate I am because in their countries, they both came from Central America, they either had to choose work or school to be able to survive. And here I have both 
and I can handle them both well. I would love to see um, a Cruz de Rey High School in every city in the United States. I think that every city really does have the need for this model and we're really seeing the benefits already just a few years into the program. I think that with the Cruz de Rey, the students come in, um, they're more professional, they're better trained, and they're better disciplined. You know, we feel that from a from an intellectual point of view that the, who of us wouldn't have wanted the chance to get a glimpse into the real world or to have that experience uh, uh, you know, week after week, whereas often students just have to cram it into a quick summer internship somewhere. But uh, these girls will have, will have four solid years of experience. Choosing ICA Cristo Rey promises both a gateway to college and valuable experience in today's workplace. Cristo Rey is magical. What you see is hope and optimism. Pardon my Lenten smile. Our understanding is that Lent is a somber time of negation and sacrifice. We hear the echoing words of John the Baptist calling out in the desert, repent. We see the 40 days and 40 nights of Jesus in the wilderness and being tested by the devil at the end. In the midst of these gloomy prospects of the 40 days of Lent, Pardon My Lenten Smile, written by Father Mike Manning, offers you some hope. Yes, this offers you a Lenten smile. Each day there is a quote from the day's scripture readings and a short reflection applying it to your everyday life. Filled with practical advice on how to live each day and make this Lent meaningful, it ends with a short and sincere prayer that you can call your own. By Easter, you will have a closer relationship with God. Get this book and bring a smile to your face and to the faces of everyone you love this Lent for your gift of $15 or more. Call the number on the screen. Get it today. I hope you've been blessed by this exposure to this wonderful experience of Crystal Ray. I hope that not only are you watching this, but you're going to be able to offer your prayers and also offer your words of support for this very, very important movement in the Catholic Church today. Let's pray right now. Lord, I thank you very much for realities like Crystal Ray, which comes into our world, giving us hope. I believe, Lord, that you were a person who reached out to young people. Please now, Lord, give your blessing to this movement. Give your blessing that it can start to move in a powerful way across our country and around our world with the blessings that you can bring. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, and love you very much. Amen. May Jesus' love for you always make you smile.